It is currently late June 2020 and the big meteorological topic at the time of making this video in the United States has been this Saharan dust coming from Africa across the Atlantic and really creating some hazy conditions across the southeastern U.S. Even where I am here in northeastern Florida, these are what the sunsets and the sunrises have been looking like out here. This is very hazy uh, hue to the entire atmosphere. Now, what I want to tell you, though, is that I, I feel like the Saharan dust is kind of a a fun phrase to, to talk about much like the polar vortex was a few years ago and it really is kind of catchy but the key thing you need to know is that this is not anything unusual contrary to what you may have seen with some media outlets talking about how it's going to blast into the united states or something like that this is actually quite common in fact most beaches across the caribbean including much of the bahamas has been built up from saharan dust it helps fertilize the amazon when that dust blows across so a lot of beneficial factors that come from this now what is it well basically remember that across the saharan desert from late june through august you get a lot of heat there so you get these heat lows that provide a, basically this thermal lift the dust gets put up into the upper atmosphere and then the trade winds blow it across the Atlantic and all the way out across the Caribbean and sometimes even into the United States. Now, this particular event here in late June 2020, a pretty potent one. It's not a weak one. Typically, they're less vi vi uh, visual on satellite imagery and even from the International Space Station, very visible. So as far as its potency, this is definitely on the higher end of the scale, but still pretty common. So what are the main things you need to know about this hair and dust? Well, big thing is it does occur from late June through August, which is also about the same time we have hurricane season in the Atlantic. Coincidentally, though, hurricane season peaks in September, not June through August. And that's mainly because you get kind of that thermal lag in the oceans, some of the warmer time of the year as far as sea surface temperatures are concerned, but also less impacts from that Saharan dust, which strongly inhibits the development of hurricanes. Now, it does create some hazy sunsets, some pretty beautiful sunsets, and in some cases, if you do have asthma or any breathing uh, difficulties, it can impact your health as well in a very extreme circumstances. But for the everyday person, uh, headlines like the Saharan dust is gonna blast into your home, uh, completely unfounded. Uh, the, it, it's a common occurrence, nothing you need to worry about. From a meteorological standpoint, it is interesting because it helps us uh, forecast the development of hurricanes in the tropical Atlantic. Anyways, oh, another side effect it does bring, though, is it does create some extra aerosols in the atmosphere, and that <laughs> brings in a little bit of dry air aloft, too, and helps it form up the development of thunderstorms and even hail in tropical areas in fact in southern florida the last week we have seen reports of hail so that's kind of interesting too a little little uh side effect from this as well anyways guys that's just a quick video i wanted to talk about this i got a few questions uh, about the saharan dust i've been posting it since i'm here in northeastern florida uh talking about the the hazy sunsets out here so yeah if you guys have any questions other meteorological things you would like to learn about please let me know down in the comment box below and as always stay safe out there all right, bye.